to the topic of basic integration. I am sure you have gone through the nine worked examples concerning indefinite integration. So here I have for you another two examples of indefinite integration. So if we had gone through the graphics, then you should be able to understand these two examples. Okay, let's see how we solve this. Okay. Integrate 3 minus 2x squared with respect to x. Okay, we write it like this. 3 minus 2x squared. Okay, we use this a minus b squared which is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is a, this is b. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we get this. 9 minus 12x plus 4x squared dx. Okay? Until here. Now we integrate. 9 becomes 9x 12x 1 power 1 1 plus 1 is 2 and then you bring down the 2 here plus 4x to the power of 2 plus 1 3 and then you bring the 3 down here plus c so what do you get 9x minus 6x squared you cancel this huh? 1 times 2 6 times 2 plus 4 over 3 x cubed plus c very straight forward that is your answer okay now let's look at example 11 so here we are supposed to integrate this with respect to x Okay, first step, what we do? What should we do? We divide each term by x to the power of 5. Okay? So you get from here to this step, you get 4 to the power of 2 minus 3. x to the power of 2, x to the power of 5. 2 minus 5, I mean. Divide, you minus. 2 minus 5, 3. Power negative 3. Okay? Minus 5 to the power of 3 minus 5, negative 2. Plus 2x to the power of, bring this x to the power of 5 up, you get negative 5. Okay? Now, from here, negative 3 plus 1, negative 2, bring down. Negative 2 plus 1, negative 1, bring it down. Negative 5 plus 1, negative 4, bring it down, plus C. Okay? So from here you get positive, negative, negative answer. Cancel this, 2. X to the power of negative 2, negative, negative, positive, 5. X to the power of negative 1, minus X to the power of negative 4 over 2. Okay, you cancel this, you get 2. Now from here, neg x to the power of negative 2, bring it down, x squared. x to the power of negative 1, bring it down, x to the power of 1. Minus x to the power of negative 4, bring it down, x to the power of 4. So you get 2x to the power of 4 plus c. So this is your answer. As simple as that. Okay? I hope you get it. It is not very difficult. Thank you. Hi. Here I have for you another two examples on indefinite integration. Okay? 
Example 12, example 13. Let's see how example 12 is done. You are supposed to integrate this with respect to x. Right. So what do you do? You bring the 3 forward here to the left. Okay. Follow the rules of integration. Now, we expand x cubed times 2x, x cubed times negative 3, negative 1 times 2x, negative 1 times negative 3, you get this, dx. Next step, we integrate 4 plus 1, 5. Bring the 5 down. 3 plus 1, 4. Bring the 4 down. 1 plus 1, no power means 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Bring the 2 down. Plus 3x, just a number at the x. Plus c. Okay? Now we multiply each of these by 3, you get this. Okay? 3 times 2, 6. 3 times negative 3 is 9. Negative 9. 3 times 2 is 6. But you cancel these 2. So you get 3, right? 3x squared plus 9x plus c. This is your answer. As simple as that. Okay. Now let's go to example 13. Okay, example 13, you are asked to integrate this with respect to x. Okay. Now if you look carefully, x squared minus 25. This is x minus 5. 25 is 5 squared. So, it is, you can apply this. a squared minus b squared equals to a plus b times a minus b. So, x squared minus 25 is x squared minus 5 squared. So, x plus 5 times x minus 5. So, you convert this to x plus 5 times x minus 5. These two brackets are the same, so we cancel. So, what have we got? x plus 5 dx. We integrate x plus 5. Power 1. So, no power means power 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Bring the 2 down. Plus 5x when you integrate. Number, you just add the x. Plus c. This is your answer. As simple as that. I hope you get it. Thank you. Here, I have for you another two examples on indefinite integration. Okay? Let's look at example 14 first. You are asked to integrate this with respect to x. Okay. What you do is, you factorize this expression. This is a quadratic expression. When you factorize, you get this x plus 3 times x plus 4 over x plus 3. Okay? And then, you see that you get x plus 3, x plus 3. The same. Cancel. So, what have we got? x plus 4. Now, we integrate x plus 4. Power 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Bring it down to 2. Number, just add the x. Plus C. This is your answer. As simple as that. Okay? Now, here we have another example. Example 15. You are asked to integrate this with respect to x. Okay, let's see how this is done. This is also a quadratic expression which can be factorized. So, when you factorize this, this is what you get. x minus 3, 
bracket times 7x plus 10 over x minus 3. So if you look carefully, x minus 3, x minus 3 equal cancel. Cancel it off. So what have you got? 7x plus 10 dx. So we integrate this 7x plus 10. Power 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Bring the 2 down. See? This is what you get. This is just the number 10. Just add x. Okay? Plus c. Always. Indefinite integral plus c. Now, this is my advice. Even for those who are weak in additional mathematics, you still have time to score the A. Learn the right techniques like this. Practice. Look at it again and again. Practice. Practice makes perfect. You will do well. Thank you.